Are you frustrated with FPS drops and input delays while playing Fortnite? If so, this video is perfect for you. In this video, I'm going to show you the best optimization settings for Fortnite. These settings will help you achieve maximum FPS and eliminate delay while building. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Now, let's dive into the video. Start by launching Fortnite and opening the settings menu. The first option you will see is window mode. Set the window mode to full screen. It can improve your FPS and reduce input delay. While using full screen mode, you won't be able to switch between other windows as easily, so be sure to choose this setting for the best performance. Next, let's talk about your resolution. Make sure to use a stretched resolution for the best possible performance. Stretched resolution can significantly boost your FPS and enhance your overall gameplay experience. If you're not sure how to set up a stretched resolution in full screen mode, be sure to check out a video on my channel where I explain the process step by step. For V-Sync, make sure to turn it off. While V-Sync can help eliminate screen tearing, Fortnite itself recommends disabling it because doing so can result in higher frame rates and better input response, improving your overall gameplay experience. Now let's talk about your frame rate limit. Be sure to set your frame rate limit to three frames below your monitor's refresh rate. This helps your monitor render the frames more easily and ensures smoother performance while playing. For the rendering mode, make sure to set it to performance mode. This will give you the lowest input delay and the highest FPS, helping to improve your overall gameplay experience. Now let's move on to your graphic settings. This part is based on personal preference, but I keep my brightness at 100 and have color blind mode turned off. For your 3D resolution, set it between 80% and 90%. Lowering your 3D resolution reduces the number of pixels rendered, which leads to higher FPS and less input delay. For your view distance, set it between medium and far, so you can spot opponents from a greater distance. This setting doesn't have a major impact on performance. For textures, set them to low, and for meshes, keep them on low as well. This will give you simpler builds, similar to mobile graphics, which helps improve performance. Next, go to your sound settings. Set your sound quality to low because as Fortnite mentions, higher sound quality can decrease performance. If you want to get every possible frame, it's also a good idea to turn off visualized sound effects. This will help improve your performance even further. Open your Epic Games Launcher, go to Fortnite, and click on the three dots. Then select Options and uncheck Fortnite Save the World if you don't play it. Many people leave this checked without using it. Make sure High Resolution Textures is turned off to get a significant FPS boost and lower input delay. For pre-downloaded streamed assets, ensure this is turned on. This will install all the assets that are usually streamed during gameplay, resulting in better performance and reduced network demand. Now guys, download this Fortnite Ultimate FPS Boost Pack on your PC, you can download this pack from my official website. Link is in the description. After download and extract, first open this batch optimization folder and run these batch files one by one on your PC. Don't worry these files for improving your system, not harmful for your PC. After that, open this best registry optimization folder and install all these files one by one. Now guys, install this application called MemReduct. When you installed MemReduct, you will see this window. When you click here to clear memory, you'll notice your RAM memory goes down. Every time you click clear memory, you know, you free up more RAM. Now guys, install this one of the best application park control to get maximum performance of your CPU. Once you have the park control application open, scroll down and select the profile you want. Click on Bitsum highest performance. Next, make sure that parking AC, parking DC, Frequency Scaling AC and Frequency DC are all disabled and set to 100. Then click on Bitsum Dynamic Boost. Make sure this is enabled. What this setting does is disable threads that aren't in use when you're doing lighter tasks like browsing. However, when you're gaming, it will enable all threads to optimize performance. In the power options, make sure you select Bitsum Highest Performance. This will maximize your CPU performance for the best FPS. Ensure everything is set to 100% for maximum performance, then click Make Active and Apply. So guys, in the next step, 
You need to download LagoFast on your PC to boost your FPS and lower your ping in Fortnite and a thousand plus other games. Simply download and install LagoFast. The link is available in the video description. After installing this tool, you will see the interface of LagoFast. In the very first step, log into your account using your email address to access and use this tool on your PC. On the left side, you will find an option to optimize your PC or console for getting easy lobbies and boosting your FPS in any game. Go to the Home tab, where you will find all the installed apps and games on your PC. If you go to the PC tab, you will see all the games available on your PC. Use the search bar to find your favorite game. For this tutorial, we want to optimize Fortnite, so search for it and click on the Boost button. This will optimize your ping and help you boost FPS. LagoFast is currently one of the best software available in the market to optimize your ping and PC performance simultaneously with just a single click. Once you start the process, you can check the status. For example, your PC connects to the LagoFast server, and the LagoFast server connects to the Bahrain server. The ping between LagoFast and the Bahrain server is less than one millisecond, ensuring a smooth connection. This software optimizes the network path for better performance. Now, once you have boosted your favorite game, you are ready to enjoy improved gameplay with lower ping and better FPS. Now guys, right click on the start menu and select device manager. In the device manager, find the dropdown labeled system devices and expand it. Scroll down until you see an entry called high precision event timer. This timer can sometimes cause lower FPS on many systems, so it's common to disable it. I personally disable this setting, and it has improved my performance. However, if you notice a drop in performance or lower FPS after disabling it, you can easily re-enable it. For most users, though, disabling this timer generally leads to better performance, as it has for me. Now, go back to the search menu and type in Focus. Click on Focus Assist. This option lets you turn off all notifications, which is especially useful if you want to avoid distractions while gaming or working. You can choose to turn off notifications only when you're in a game or full screen mode, or set it to alarms only if you prefer minimal interruptions. Next, press Windows plus R to open the Run dialog box. Type MS Config and hit Enter to open the configuration settings. In the window that appears, go to the Services tab. First, check the box that says Hide All Microsoft Services. After that, go through the remaining services and disable any that you don't need. Once you've made your selections, click Apply, then restart your PC. Restarting will finalize the changes and help optimize your system. So guys, that was today's video. Hit the like button and make sure to subscribe. Peace out.